I've been promising you some upgrades from the uh, the recent wind and solar electricity book that's the edition 2 and here's one about voltmeters now I got hold of a load of ex-military voltmeters and we'll just zoom in and these are very nice meters but they only go up to 40 volts and those of you familiar with the escapades of wind and solar that go on around here will uh, know that we're on 48 volts DC that's the battery bank 48 volts so it varies from 48 up to fully charged and being charged at 57, 58 something like that so one would imagine this is next to useless as would, as would this one be that only goes up to 20 what else have we got here we got one that goes up to 300 so that's next to useless because 50 volts will be just a little bit of a movement on the needle there anyway coming back to this so if we've either got this one that goes to 20 or specifically and I've just taken this one out of the uh, battery shed uh, goes up to 40 volts what are we going to do well let's just turn it round and there's this little dinky bit of what seems to be virtually nothing it's clear on one end and it's got a black line on the other it's a zener diode now zener diodes are brilliant because effectively they're like an electric weir so uh, I know this zener diode is a 20 volt zener diode so you put 21 volts through it and one volt will come out the other side so effectively what we're doing here is we're taking a 40 volt uh, meter and then saying well the first 20 volts don't matter so when it's on 20 it is uh, 40 volts when it's on 30 it's 50 volts now I might be wrong my memory doesn't serve me that well nowadays it may be slightly higher voltage Zener but let's see we've got let's, let's start from the beginning across these two test meters test leads we have and we've got a direct tap in here from the battery bank so let's just see what it says 54.9 okay so it's 54.9 Switch her off. So positive to the positive lead, and the negative is just come off that end. So this is the positive from the battery bank. Got to be careful here because we've got full battery voltage and current across these, so we don't want things to go bang. So that's the positive, and we're up into the meter and it goes through the meter then through the zener diode and back to negative the zener diode can be either side doesn't matter as long as it's in circuit here we go so that must be a 30 volt zener on there because that's showing 20 oh, nearly 24 volts so it must be 30 volt zener that's just me not remembering I mean I probably did this five or six years ago so there we go and then you just glance up at the meter and either you can take the bezel off and recalibrate it renumber it or you can just get used to it which is what I've done you just look up and you know the meter moves between there and there and that's good enough so 
Zener diode. Let's just see if we can zoom in on the back here. The camera doesn't want to zoom in that far, so I'll just do a little still of that. And you really have to get the magnifying glass out to read the numbers on it. So, Zener diodes. They are, that's just a little glass one and it's perfect for this because there's no current going through that. But those of you familiar with um, motorcycles, especially of the, the 1970s and 1980s, um, the BSA A65s, that sort of thing, the Barracudas and the Triumph um, Bonnevilles and whatnot, they had something like this. I'm not quite sure what voltage this is, but it looked virtually identical to that. And it was bolted onto a big heat sink, sort of an oval job. And it was on the, uh, the bottom yoke in the air. And these were a 13.8 volt Zener. So effectively, because those, those motorcycles were uh, three phase alternators through a rectifier unregulated this was the regulator anything above 13.8 volts just got dumped into heat so everything was fine when the lights were on of course the lights would pull the voltage down a bit and this wouldn't be uh, conducting as soon as you switch the lights off and if the battery is in good nick then volts rise and this starts to conduct to regulate the voltage. Anyway, there's just a little bit of uh, motorcycle in history there. But voltmeters, you can change the voltmeter from a lesser, a smaller range to a larger range by including a Zener diode. And you buy these Zener diodes at set voltages. There's all sorts, but you know, 10, 20, 30 is a nice sort of range because let's say for instance you bought a load of 10s and you wanted to change this meter so that that 20 was a became a 60 then you just put four Zener diodes in series in line with the meter same with this one this got a 30 volt Zener you could have a 20 and a 10 three, 20, uh, three tens, whatever you so hopefully that's a little update, very short video.